I honestly really never considered that it would happen to me. You're targeting payday lenders and ammunition manufacturers. You're going after little guys all over America. Government regulators are essentially telling banks that they need to be morality police. Our businesses were started with our own retirement and college fund dollars that we had saved for our family. Allison, who asked that we only use her first name in this story, started this payday lending and check cashing business with her husband in 2010. It's located in Orange County, California. A lot of my customers take payday loans because they have difficulty making a paycheck to paycheck, and it helps to pay their phone bill or pay their rent. Allison runs a tight ship, and she successfully navigated the complex permitting procedures and regulations that govern this controversial industry. We had never had any compliance issues. We had never had any slap of the hands or we did something wrong. We were always in full compliance. And then one day, she got a letter in the mail from the bank that changed her life. They were going to shut my bank accounts down due to their high-risk nature uh, in 30 days. I cannot do business. If I don't have a bank account, I can't do money transferring, uh, money orders. I can't deposit a check. For any business, how do you do business without a business checking account? So Allison tried to open an account in another bank, but her application was denied. So she tried again, and the same thing happened. So she closed her first store, and her second location is scheduled to go out of business in a matter of weeks. Why was she being cut off from the financial system? The banks wouldn't give her any answers and wouldn't respond to any of our questions either. I had heard about Operation Choke Point through a couple of contacts I have in this industry. I honestly really never considered that it would happen to me. Operation Choke Point is a government program that sought to intimidate banks into closing the accounts of a number of what they consider to be high-risk industries. Operation Choke Point was a program created by the Obama administration's Financial Fraud Enforcement Task Force. The government says it's over now, but business owners across the country claim that's not true. It's a task force that most Americans probably have never heard of, but it has more control over the choices and decisions that Americans make than almost any other agency in the government. Brian Wise is the president of the U.S. Consumer Coalition, a consumer advocacy group. Choke Point was supposed to be focused on mass market consumer fraud when the program started in 2013, but it quickly morphed into something much bigger, a way for federal regulators to strong arm banks into punishing any type of business that didn't meet their approval by putting them on their list of high risk merchants. Government regulators are essentially telling banks that they need to be morality police that these banks have to make moral decisions on who they can and cannot do business with. And they have to make moral decisions on what consumers should have access to. And what kind of businesses were on this list? The usual suspects were there. Debt consolidation scams and online gambling, but also completely legitimate and legal businesses like firearm sales, coin dealers, tobacco sales, and more. In the same way that we say that racial profiling is bad, you're saying that without any due process, these industries and the merchants within these industries are guilty of some kind of wrongdoing simply because they offer a legal product to America's consumers. I got started in the hookah business uh, when I was uh, 18. Brennan Appel is the owner of Global Hookah, a tobacco accessories seller. Like Allison, he also received an unwelcome letter from his bank informing him that his account would be shut down in 30 days. I was in shock. I didn't understand. I thought it was a mistake because I had been with Bank of America since 2002. Banks can terminate a customer's account at any time, and they have no legal obligation to provide a reason. So it can be difficult sometimes to connect the dots back to a federal policy like Operation Choke Point. But Appel got confirmation after recording a phone call with a payment processor who shut down a large transaction he was trying to complete with a customer. The nature of what we have, what we do in payment processing, at least with our processing bank, has become so more regimented and strict and focused on compliance and yeah, certain right? certain efforts in Washington. And have you heard of a little thing, you know, called choke point, you know, yeah. in the CFPB? Pretty much uh, Flato told me Operation Choke Point is the reason why my ACH account was closed. Even though we had processing since 2005 and we had a clean record and uh, had done 
good amount of business. Once enough businesses from many different industries began complaining about being totally cut off from the financial system, the Congressional Committee on Oversight and Reform questioned the DOJ and FDIC about their conduct during a hearing. What gives you the right, or anybody that works for you the right, to tell businesses where the owners have sacrificed their saving, their hard works, grown their businesses, hired their family members and others, what gives you the right to try to shut them down, sir? We, we don't have that right or authority, Congressman. You I, don't, but you did it, didn't you? Uh, that's something we've now asked our inspector. But you did it, didn't you, sir? I'm, I'm trying to... During those committee hearings, FDIC officials, as well as D Department of Justice officials, have denied their involvement in Operation Choke Point, despite the fact that these committees have emails that specifically tie individuals at these agencies to this program. These are the official documents of the FDIC yeah. going out to banks. And then I have an email chain showing that you're targeting payday lenders and ammunition manufacturers. You're abusing your power. You're going after little guys all over America. We have tried uh, consistently, uh, going back to when we received the uh, letter from the members of Congress to respond to the concerns that have been raised. Since then, they have admitted to the program existing and they have said that they no longer are taking part in the program. That's actually true. We believe that the program has moved from the Department of Justice and the FDIC over to the CFPB. Remember this part of Appel's phone call? And the, uh, have you heard of a little thing, you know, called choke point, you know, yeah. in the CFPB? I'm Richard Cordray, the uh, new director of the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Yay. And I the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is the brainchild of progressive Massachusetts Senator Elizabeth Warren. Part of the architecture that I hope we're going to build into this agency, it's not just transparency, it's a real engagement with American families. This agency belongs to the people. The CFPB is the only agency in the federal government which operates completely outside of any accountability to Congress. It operates under the direction of a single unelected political appointee and it can essentially spend as much money as it wants because it's under the guidance of the Federal Reserve. Officials from the CFPB refused our request to appear in this video, but replied by email. The CFPB's concern is ensuring compliance with federal consumer financial law. They also claim to have no records of any involvement in cutting off Global Hookah's bank account. While government agencies claim choke point is over, what we do know is that legally operating business owners in various industries across America are still receiving letters of closure from their banks. It hasn't stopped. The government is doubling down on this program and will continue to double down until the administration changes. I will be going out of business very shortly. I've lost most of my customers. I believe that um, it is still happening. I know of other people in the industry who have told me as recently as two weeks ago that their accounts are getting shut down. A lot of times with government they'll push you to the limit, but you know, you have to be able to stand up. So um, hopefully more people can come forward and make this uh, much more well known.